Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode here on the Hermitcraft Amplified. Oh dear, I'm breaking the floor server. <laughs> that's the name of the server now. We've said it, we've called it. Did that drop a block? It did, that's good. Let's put that back in place. Yes, welcome back to another episode. We are once again in the base and we're not, I repeat, not going to be working on storage today. But I do want to inform you that everything that we did uh, in the last episode uh, that we were over here, because the last one was an agency episode, Everything's been working really well. Just a couple of things that I want to mention. I was thinking of doing something. I might not actually be able to do it. Yeah, it was just an idea that I had. So over... Oh, no, no, no. We would be able to do it. So over on this side, and I really can't quite see it. We have uh, those hoppers pointing into that side. So we've got two items going into there. I was considering over on this side that what we would do is uh, the same thing again. We might be able to squeeze... Or did I already do it? Okay, I've actually already done this. That's quite funny because I don't remember doing it. But I remember thinking about it. Oh my. Off to an amazing start once again. Yep, so we now got packed ice over here and it points into the one that stores ice. So both of those get filtered and, uh, and yeah, they go into that one side. So that's pretty amusing that I forgot that. <laughs> and then over here, this storage system... I might rip out the entire thing and rebuild it. And if I choose to do that, I'm not going to do it as an episode. Just going to get it done off camera and show you it sometime. But someone has sent me a silent design, which I'm yet to test. But I'm going to fully test it before we make any decision. But this entire contraption right here could end up being silent, which is amazing. <laughs> because it makes so much noise. I know you can stand back and be out of range of it. Uh, but with this thing being silent, it kind of makes sense for the whole thing to be silent. And we might actually be able to get away with doing that, which is going to be a lot of fun. Um, also, this thing right here has been working really well. However, when you log out, items will get stuck in this bottom dropper. So I was thinking of maybe making some sort of system that works on a timer. Because this thing creates a little clock with itself. So then what you could do is make something that detects if the comparator has been powered for too long and then it activates it again. So that's another little mini project which we might do this episode. And um, this episode, the site that I want to do, but I'm kind of waiting on other things at the moment. So while we're here at the beginning of this video, I do want to inform you that I have started another series on another game. You may have seen it, it may have not looked interesting to you, but I just want to mention uh, what it's about. The game is called Terratech. I think a lot of you that like Minecraft may find this game interesting. The way I would describe it is like Lego meets Robot Wars. You're in a open sandbox world, you can scavenge for resources and create a little tech which is a vehicle that can go around collecting resources and fighting other vehicles. It's a lot of fun, I'm really enjoying it and I just wanted to give it a little shout out in this episode for those of you who might be interested in it. So enough about that, I have a plan, sort of a plan for what we're going to be doing this episode, however um, as of right now I'm not sure if we're going to be able to build this particular farm that I want to put here in our base. So I'm kind of waiting on a couple of things and while we're doing that I'll show you how I decided to uh, to build this farm today because there's lots of projects we can do. Um, but I was thinking about the sheep farm, you know, the one that we built a while ago, Rainbow Fall. And um, I was looking at its coordinates and thinking about building it a proper tunnel. And the way we designed this tunnel was as a community event on my server. I was thinking we could do the same thing again because that was a lot of fun. And I've been looking for an excuse to, to get on there, do a live stream and have like a build together again. So I was looking at the coordinates. If we go this way it, by about 50 blocks then it's a complete diagonal line going across like this and eventually we would reach where the portal would be so we could build some sort of diagonal tunnel that means we can build a little piston contraption here have a secret entrance or maybe not so secret we'll probably advertise that the sheep farm is here and let people know that they should use my tunnel um, to get to the sheep farm the fast way I guess rather than running through the tunnels at the top so we started digging I was like right we'll dig this out we'll see how long it's going to be and think about doing this and then we came to this thing right here so I thought, oh no, that's not going to be no good. So maybe we'll have to go all the way down below. Uh, but it'd be more convenient just to stay at the same height that you're at right here. So with all of that lava down there, I started thinking about fire resistance potions. And we have no brewing stands in our new base. We have no potions, anything like that. And so I started thinking about, you know, what do we want to do for this? And if we're going to build some sort of potion factory, I think I would have put a, put a bit of time into researching different designs and figuring out how we want to make this thing work. So I'm not going to rush into building anything there. But one thing we will need is a nether wart farm, which is what I'm working on at the moment. So I'm not going to bore you <laughs> with any more details about it because uh, we may or may not... <gasps> <laughs> that was so silly. Did I actually like hit the... I think I hit the bedrock and took three hearts. I thought I was going to die for a second. Thank God for the feather falling. So yeah, I'm working on getting the design for this uh, 
this nether wart farm together so we may or may not be able to build it um, but I didn't want to waste your time with that so I'm just going to work on little odds and sods around the place um, while we wait on that so it may not be what we actually end up doing today and uh, and yeah so I'm just going to crack on with digging out this room you may have noticed that I've been sort of digging out this side over here and getting prepared to dig all the way down below so then we can start making up each of the different levels and start figuring out the themes for them the different build materials we're going to use etc um, yeah, so kind of doing a lot. <laughs> anyway, let's make a cut. <gasps> I do believe that we're now recording from a very similar position to where we left off. And uh, yeah, you can see that I've done a whole bunch of changes here. I've gone around and I put in all of the jungle wood. About time I did that. Put in some oak fences as well. And it's really uh, helped shape up the place. And I know there's a lot more work to be done on this level, but I love the way you look across the room from up there. And doing it from this level now, you can really get a sense of this idea and uh, how good it's going to be because it looks awesome seeing a little bit of the room up above and eventually you know with this finished we'll be able to look down and then we'll be able to see the room down below again it's really going to look amazing and uh, I'm glad that we did that anyway I was just tidying up that room getting prepared a little bit for what we're going to be doing next which is of course building this farm that I talked about so I was kind of umming and ahhing about building it in the last clip that's because I've been on a wild goose chase to try and find and this video tutorial that shows you how to build it. So we'll just come back to that in a second. Do want to mention, I've been playing around with this on a test world. I've logged out and logged back in, and you can see again it has broken. So I've been trying to come up with a contraption um, that can fix this when it breaks, and it is actually quite tricky. So I'll explain what I have managed to do. I found a way to detect uh, when this comparator right here is permanently on, like it was a second ago. So if it's blinking, or, uh, or not blinking at all, then it doesn't give an output, but as soon as it turns on permanently, it does. So that's one step in the right direction, but then how to correct the problem, because it's going to have an item already into it, and then you want to get this thing working again, and let the items come back in through the item hopper. So it is a little bit tricky to power the correct things, just so it comes back on, so I'm still working on that. And I'm kind of curious here, because... Uh, when I was testing this on my plot world server and messing around with it, a lot of items were getting stuck um, in the dropper elevator, but I think that's because I was messing around, powering and unpowering things, and basically uh, not using it like we are here, and it looks like nothing's got caught at all. So this is a very solid design, really do like it. Um, the previous episode at our base will have a link to this as a tutorial if you're interested in it. And uh, yeah, we'll come back to that. Maybe a project for next episode that we're here. Um, do a little bit of redstone tinkering and solve a problem, which is always good. So uh, back to this uh, netherwart farm that we're going to do. A friend called Depaco designed this for me on my plot world server about a, two years ago, maybe. Maybe even longer than that. <gasps> Done it again. <laughs> I've got to sort this out. This ladder is no good. No good at all. And yeah... Um, it's been a long time. I've been procrastinating building it. I was supposed to build it on the last world. I was going to build it earlier on on this world. And I think now is finally the time. I know that I want to do something with potions in this base. And I think I want to do it on its own floor. I don't know if the potions will take up the entire floor. Um, but we will not do it on this level right here. Plus this one's kind of ugly. I think we might um, change up the build theme as we go along. So it'll be this floor right here which will have the potion stuff on it. So we're going to extend some of this down a little bit, which is why I've been doing this jungle wood right here. We're going to get the build theme in place for the next floor. And then over in that direction is where our potion, uh, sorry, netherwart farm is going to go. So we'll have like a tunnel that will take us off into the distance. Now, the reason that I want to do it off in the distance is just because if we build it close to this area, there might be some problems. And it's the kind of farm that there's going to be no problem hopping on a rail, going all the way over there, using the farm and coming back again. Um, so, yeah, I've got to do a little bit of digging open up this area, dig a tunnel over to the place, and I'll be back with you in a moment. <gasps> Once again, you can really see where this is going. I like it. I like it a lot. I feel like this color combination right here it may be a little bit odd, um, the green in the middle there. The red looks good up the top, though, and this is really going to look great when it's done. Obviously, the gray makes it a little bit unimpressive, but imagine each floor having its like own color and theme and just looking down through all of them. This one is going to be great too. This one is probably going to be my favorite. It's going to have some birch, some acacia, and I've got a couple of other blocks that are going to go with that and look real good. But we're not actually building um, the floor today. What we're building is the netherwart farm. So um, down at the end of this tunnel, I've dug out a big space for us to build it in. And you'll notice somewhere around here, there it is, we get the speed effect. That's because I had to move the beacons 
on the surface so we could dig down here and I basically built this far enough away that it will never be a problem probably too far away <laughs> uh, but we'll have a little like rail track that takes you out here and then you can come and farm your nether warts so you can see we've got this big ominous dark space and this is going to be a vertical farm and I was just watching Depaco's video and what's interesting is that it was based on something that I did which I kind of forgotten about on the last time at Craft World for those of you that watched it um, I tried to make a nether wart farm with a rail, a minecart and nether warts and soul sand <laughs> you know what I mean, one where you sit down in the cart and you go along and you hold down right click and it didn't quite work out and I can't really remember whatever happened to that but um, De Paco came up with a solution and an awesome farm and I think in order to do this we should time lapse building it so let's cue that music and let's do a time lapse There you go, that is the Netherwart farm. This thing is going to be absolutely fantastic when I can show you it, but as of right now, it's not been correctly built. We'll get to that in a second. I just want to say, uh, this thing looks really cool. I forgot to put the lights in as well, that's another thing we're going to do, so this thing will be illuminated a little. We'll probably put like a glass cover over the front of it as well, actually, that's going to look real cool. But, trying to get a good view of it, it feels like this is the optimal place to stand. And here is a little bit <laughs> of an awkward angle. So what I'm thinking is for the room that goes around this, I'm not sure how much of that we're going to get done today. What we could do is like strip it back by a block at once. So we dig like this all the way up to the top. Um, I don't think it'll actually be that high. Um, but then we just go back one block at a time. So we go up and across. And then the next one goes back by two blocks. And then three. And then we kind of create this, uh, this, this shape that comes down to the focal point, which would be the entrance. And as you get here, it kind of like all opens up and you can see this big nether wart farm, which I think will look really cool. Um, so as for explanations as to how this works, it's pretty straightforward. You get in the minecart, you tell it to go in this direction and uh, then the activator rail will set something up. I'm not sure what it is, but you need to already have some nether warts in your hand. You need to sort of point in this direction and hold down click. And then you'll go all the way up around this little spiral staircase <laughs> and then across to the top. And then that's where you will um, fall down and start placing the nether warts but as you fall down it also harvests all of them first in fact I think that's what that detector rail is for and I've broken it success <laughs> uh, let's put that back is that that's chiseled that's not what we want yeah so you'll uh, you'll activate the pistons that push back and forth so they'll cause all of the nether warts to pop up and then you'll go across and you'll replant them you'll also pick all of them up when you're in the minecart you come back down here and then you end up sitting on here again so this uh, detector rail turns off that powered rail and it allows you to get out again so it's a really cool design just got to hop in hold down right click it does all the work for you and it's expandable upwards as well which is something we might do in the future if we need more of these now the mistake that I made was somewhere over on this side I managed to build this incorrectly the first time it was uh, built a block over in that direction as you might have saw in the time lapse and then I somehow managed to build it or build it uh, one block too high as you can see that doesn't line up with this side these also need to be normal pistons which is interesting because I used MC edit to 
uh, to like look at the world because there's a, a download available for this world with this farm in and then count all of the materials and it said seven sticky pistons it made no mention of regular pistons and I've used exactly uh, seven in total so if they were sticky ones they need to be normal they need to be one block lower so all of this was built incorrectly um, which I'm going to fix next then I'm going to start using the farm and it begs the question do I have any nether warts because I don't think we do have nether warts I went back and I got them <laughs> And uh, now I want to show you this thing in action. We're going to go through it a couple of times. And when we go over that detector rail, we can hear some pistons. That's good. So we come up the top here. We go down across like this. Look at where my crosshairs are. We might not be able to get every single bit of soul sand, but this is ever so cool because it's, you know, sort of automated. So this time we're going to go again, and we're going to place down some nether warts. And I'll tell you what, we could probably do with an extra powered rail back there. And I'm not paying attention. Yeah, it misses like one at the end, I think, which is fine. I don't mind that. And uh, that's all the nether warts that I've got, by the way. Um, so now, let's pretend that they've grown. We go through here again. They would have been harvested, so we're going to pick them up as we go through. And we would end up with more. No, it hasn't. Maybe not all of the redstone has been done correctly. Interesting. So we definitely heard <laughs> some pistons activating. And it's not enough to get all the way across, is it? So we'll give that a tap. Come on. <laughs> Down you come. And if we just put this on the detector rail, that's interesting. Only the first one got activated. So something is wrong with the redstone back here. I'm not sure what that would be because there are uh, these redstone torches coming all the way up, right? <laughs> so why wouldn't it get transferred upwards? If it managed to power this one, why not the rest? So I've changed this from a two tick to a three tick. Now those of you that know redstone, if you have a one tick pulse going into redstone torch, it doesn't do anything. A two tick pulse though I thought was fine so it only travelled up like one bit and uh, and then it didn't continue travelling up here but when we change it to three it works and it's actually already done its bit so let's hop on here go up to the top and a little bit of lag there we're going to pick up the nether warts except something's broken <laughs> well it hasn't pushed back on the opposite side so I'm guessing once again yep hasn't pushed back here either wow we are troubleshooting today Let's hop up here. Maybe it's the same problem on the opposite side, which is a little bit strange. Maybe the server is behaving funny. Um, we have a two tick pulse there. Yep, so let's make that a free, which it now is. And I think in order to make this work, we just got to uh, reset this right here. Cool, okay. So all looks good. Where's our minecart? It's in my hand. And it pushes back. And it throws out our nether warts. So that's the way that it's going to work. And we can expand this if ever we need more nether warts, but for now I need to plant them down and get them growing. So we're going to put them down. We've got nine. Kind of feel like there may have been one or more <laughs> left on the track, but no, we've got all of them planted again. So we're going to let them grow, and now I'm going to work on the rest of this room. Um, I talked about how I wanted to dig it back like this going up to the ceiling, and I've been thinking what we'll do is we'll work with clay, and I'm thinking two colours, maybe blue and light blue, or possibly red and pink, which would suit this so much better. And, and just get loads and loads of clay of it and have it going all the way up across to the ceiling and then have like a stripe of red, a stripe of pink and then slowly it gets smaller and smaller heading down over there which could look pretty hypnotic and be a pretty cool so that is the plan. I spent quite some time on this and I think definitely going in the right direction and I've just taken a step back and realized a problem that I've made so let's just imagine these two bits aren't here there is like a, a diagonal range of blocks going from this corner all the way across to that corner right there which uh, I thought was perfect. We had to go up by one you can see that's just aligned with where the roof was before and uh, and yeah and then it would shrink inwards to a single point and now that I've done two of these I realize um, that we're shrinking in twice as much on the sides because you know there's two sides and there's one coming down so we come in by two each time we go down by one and that probably means all of this is a little bit too high. <laughs> um, so the actual height we want to have it at would be half of that, I do believe. And then I don't think it would look as good. It would be somewhere around here. wouldn't quite uh, be as big and theatric. So I don't know where it is I'm going to go with this right now. Um, what we might do is keep it how it is. Keep you know it heading in this direction and see how it looks when it gets to the end, which is actually not too far. It's going to be one, two, three, four and pretty much that, four more of these, so it's going to come down by four, it's going to be way too high, uh, maybe we just need to shrink it by a few blocks down to where the quartz is at the top and that might look alright, 
but it's a bit of a tricky thing to play around with because it's a lot of building to do and I think the best thing for me to do would be to kind of recreate this environment in creative mode and then play around with it a little bit. So I'm going to do that and try and figure out how it is we're going to get this to work. But I am confident that it is going to look good because it's looking pretty cool so far. Now that is looking really, really good. I do like it. I brought the height of the ceiling down to where the quartz ends. Definitely a good decision. On this side over here, still a little bit high but a lot better. And it looks cool, however I kind of feel like this would have looked even better on a bigger scale. Uh, but on this smaller one it looks pretty awesome, doesn't it? So now I'm starting to think about the floor. And I don't think we want to use red again. I don't think we want to use quartz either. We need like another material down here because the way this is kind of, you know, uh, white and brown there. And then you've got the red here. It kind of feels like the separation of colours works really well. So something different on the floor. I'm not going to be doing that today. So if you've got any suggestions, leave them in the comment box down below. I am, though, thinking that maybe some more brown in the ground would look good. But anyway, after doing all of this, I took a step back. I thought, that's great. Oh, our nether warts, they would have grown. And I looked up here and I couldn't see any nether warts. So I hopped in the minecart, got on my way. And we could really do with like an extra powered rail there. <laughs> and then when we got up to the top, I was like, uh-oh, there are no no nether warts on our soul sand. And it took me a moment to realise what's happened here. But while I've been working on the roof, I've had to go on top of the quartz to climb up there and, you know, dig around and stuff. And in the process of doing that, I've been coming around the back here, walking up and down this. And I've also been nudging that minecart back and forth. And I didn't think about it, but it's gone and hit this detector rail. It's activated the contraption while I'm not paying attention. And then the nether warts have just despawned. So we started off with a plan to build a nether wart farm. And we've successfully now got zero nether warts. <laughs> there you go. Round of applause for that. Yep, I know. Brilliant. I'm going to have to go and pinch some nether warts from someone else and grow them. Um, which is what I'm going to do in between episodes. Because that's going to be it for this one. I hope you have enjoyed it. I've really been... Uh, liking this project so far, we've got a lot more to do with this uh, <laughs> nether wart setup. Like, actually, get some nether warts in it. And uh, and yeah, at the beginning of the video, I mentioned that Terror Tech game as well. So be sure to go and check out that video if you like the sound of that. But if not, don't worry about it. And uh, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. It'll always be appreciated. And uh, that's going to be it for me this episode. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.